B, take one. I'm from the Maker Republic. I'm um, now in India. Nairobi, Kenya. I grew up in Honduras. Somalia, India. I was born in Nicaragua in 2001. It was really hard to like go back to my roots and understand where I came from, especially when you don't have a lot of people like you around yourself. My sophomore year when I went to that AP World class and I saw nobody looked like me. Like, I was not ready. It was hard. <sighs> Uh, we moved three times during the war because, like, uh, I lived in Baghdad, the capital, which is like the most unsafe area that was like during my childhood. If you go outside, you will meet animals, a lion, hyena, or something like that. And when we when we need to go our bathroom or the food, we have to walk a thousand miles. We have to sleep at night earlier to not feel hungry. I, I lost my dad because of the, the violence. When I was in Myanmar, the Buddhist people killed uh, Rohingya people, uh, burn a school, burn our house. The family where I live now is basically like my family here because even if we're not blood related, they treat me like one. So right now I'm a DJ and music producer. I am in the orchestra. I go to the Academy of Dance. I want to go into oncology and become an oncologist, help with the issue of childhood cancer. I want to become a family physician, software engineer. A neurologist. A doctor. A dentist. I am planning to major in electrical engineering and minor in computer science. I'm going to major in physiological sciences and eventually go on to medical school. And like, you people shouldn't limit themselves based on um, stereotypes or just because they think they're not socially acceptable. And I just want to give back to this country that has been amazing to me and make it better. I really hope that this year, other people who are reading this book will realize that there's people out there that look like you and that you can do this, regardless of your background.